All right, hello, welcome to Ben's OP Games. We're recorded live at 6 p.m. Pacific time, twitch.tv slash thegamefanatics every fry diddle day. Today, like some days, most days, often days, I'm joined by Joel. I'm here. The Magnificent. I did it. Yeah. I made it. You made it in. So pleased hey to, to join you. Wait, what? Something like that. Hey <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm and pleased nothing, to make your acquaintance. I know. There's nothing exciting <laughs> going on. Is this actually the first podcast after we did the Friday the 13th game night? Uh, yeah. I think it is. So we'll start yeah. with what we've been playing. And we, as the Game Fanatics, did a little game night of Friday the 13th on Saturday the 13th. And it was a lot better than I thought it was going to be. This This game I never played before of a property I have no experience with and know nothing about except for the, like, ch -ch -ch noises. Yeah. But it was, really, it was really fun. I don't think I'd play it not on a game night, but it was really cool. Yeah, I had a blast. I, uh, I played it the night before the game night just to really kind of test it, you know, to see. I yeah. wanted to just know the controls. I didn't want to go in, like, not knowing how to even run or something. Like me, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I liked it. I played a few games, and it was pretty fun. Um, and so I was like, okay, this is actually going to be a pretty fun game night. And yeah. so, um, yeah, it, it was a good time. I well, think a lot of people had fun. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. What we need to do is get that, that clip of us. We all, it was like four of us, got the car going. And then, what, was it Marcus driving, I think? And then, like, drove accidentally yeah. into a post, and we got stuck there. We're all just screaming in the car, yeah. like, no, no. It was almost like uh, like the car got stuck on the post, okay. and he couldn't move it back or forth. Like, it was perfect. It was so bad. We're just screaming. It was so good. <laughs> we got Panic. lucky that, that the Jason, whoever was playing as Jason, um, just couldn't figure out how to get to us. Like, yeah. he was almost kind of blocked off. Like, there's an invisible wall or hitbox or something that he couldn't get through. Um, but, yeah, it was it was funny. It was, I was, it really... was a really fun game night. Like, it's basically just hide-and-seek is yes. what it is with a really janky type of game. But the jank is kind of fun about it. It's kind of fun. I mean, it is a lot of jank. Uh, and the, the character models look like they're melting wax sculptures or something. <laughs> yeah they're so moist it's so yeah weird. they're when i when i first played it the night before my wife was like is he wearing leather or is that like a flannel jacket that's just wet and i'm like, <laughs> I'm like, like I, I don't who know knows. honestly <laughs> it's yes <laughs> yeah yes, but it's it like she she enjoyed just watching me play it and like that's hard to find a game like that to entertain people sure um i think that's why it did so well when it was when it was first out on twitch like People were loving just watching it. Um, yeah, it definitely was. Watched... When you died, it, it was just as fun to kind of see, like, all right, what are they going to do? Oh, How are they yeah. going to get out of this? One of my favorite things was working the camera after being dead, just yeah. like switching to different views, mainly because I was streaming the game um, for the channel. And so really just kind of switching around the views to see what people were up to. Where I think I got, I think I switched to Marcus at a certain point and he was just kind of wandering. And then I switched back and like, it was when I think Logan was had the car in between him and Jason. And he just kept avoiding Jason. And with the whole time, we didn't see that Jason was actually laying down bear traps right next to the driver's side door. Oh, yeah. So so after Dick. Logan got away, he came back up later to get to the car and walked into each one of those traps. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, oh, my God, he got you. It was, a, it was a good time. Good I just time. remember those traps. I didn't even know he could lay those traps because I kept asking who was laying them. I kept running into these traps next to these cars. It's like, who the fuck is putting traps here? Yeah. <laughs> Why is it happening? <laughs> so mad. <laughs> I didn't play as Jason. I think I opted to not play as Jason just because I, I kind of wanted to. I think I, it was more fun to like run around. And sure. I just didn't want to get disappointed with not killing anybody. Yeah. I will not. I think us. you know. If we, I, I do want to play it again for a game night, um, or yeah, even well. just like randomly with some people. Um, so I definitely want to try being Jason next time. But it was, oh man, it was, it was uh, a lot more fun than I expected it to be. 
It was. It was very good. Uh, I, you know, also, speaking of things that were better than I thought they were going to be, I redboxed the new Call of Duty for Black Ops 4. I was going to call it Blackout. I'm like, what the hell is this game called? People keep calling it Call of Duty 4 uh, Black Ops. <laughs> and I'm like, no, <laughs> it's backwards. It's just, it's really confusing. Anyway, yeah. so this is footage of me. This is like my second uh, Blackout which is their battle royale mode. This is my second time doing it in this footage, and then the third time doing it and after I die. Uh, and I'm bad. I'm real bad. What I did is I started the game and went into Blackout first and played two round, or three rounds of it and just didn't do too hot <laughs> either time. But I played a couple rounds after that, and I actually got some kills. It is really... Uh, fun. I like its distinction from PUBG as being a game that fucking runs like a goddamn game in 2018. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I the the buffs and stuff you can get are are a nice distinction, but they're really it's oh you got the predator and I gotta go like what the fuck does that mean and I gotta pause it and look at my inventory like oh uh, okay okay and uh, but I like that system. It's just not clear what some of them do. It's also not clear sometimes when you pick up a weapon, is this a semi-automatic weapon? I picked up something, and I was like, I think this is like a shotgun, and then I shot it, and it was like some kind of RPG. Like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's how I killed uh, two people, because this guy went to hide in a bathroom, and I just opened the door and just shot in the bathroom with this rocket gun and killed it. Were, are you able to shoot through, like, doors and walls? I couldn't figure it out. I think with some guns you can, but I was trying to. I'm not sure. In one of my matches when I played the beta, and I couldn't get through even the door. So I don't know if it's something that... Maybe it's just my gun. I'm not sure, but that, as I was yeah, saying, like the guns are, are weird. I don't know if this gun's more powerful than the other guns. Like, Fortnite makes it very clear that this gun is better than that gun. right? It, it's pretty obvious that shotgun... Yeah. Is better than that one maybe it's better for this you know tactical thing but if you don't know future war weapons like i guess people do it's confusing as to what exactly is happening and there's a lot of weird tricky shit that i've seen in this game it's in the multiplayer too where it's like a uh, tripwire and uh, uh what is it the spirally razor wire trap oh yeah, shit. yeah. like there's a lot of stuff like that the little um Motion sensing uh, sensors, motion sensing sensors, <laughs> that redundant. But I, I like that. That definitely differentiates it. It still has, quote unquote, the problem of, God, there's nothing going on here. Is there anyone here? I don't even know what's happening. Oh my gosh, there's a guy. I'm dead. All right, well, I just yeah. wasted. Because like, you'll watch this footage, and I won't run into anyone until I die when I finally find someone. <laughs> That that's kind of like how most battle royales are, though. Sure. Like, you know, you you're just gonna you're finally gonna get all your gear, and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, you're dead. Yeah. Um, the it's thing just I a little... like about this Call of Duty is like that that happens because that's regular Call of Duty. You know, the the match is like if if someone just gets the jump on you, you're and they shoot you three or four times, you're done. But I like the way this game does battle royale in the in the sense of like you can take different types of approaches. Like if you prefer to snipe, you have a lot of options as long as you pick up a good sniper. Yeah. And just kind of, I don't know. It's just plays so differently from Fortnite, which cause I think Fortnite is still a really good game. I think PUBG is, is okay. Like I don't hate PUBG. I just think that they've taken so long to polish that game that other people are now able to just come in and as long as they put out something close to what they have mm -hmm. and it runs well and just does, you know, a few things better, then it, That's all like, I need it, it. it, yeah, it makes, it makes PUBG just <laughs> you feel see me so, die? God damn it. <laughs> it makes PUBG just feel so like just behind and like, like they're lagging. Like they're, yeah. even now, like everybody is so hyped up about, um, this game, I mean, it's getting, it's got better scores than the multiplayer and the zombies mode. Like, people are loving Blackout, and it's, you know, it's, 
it's crazy to think, you know, after after it was first revealed, like, oh, there's no campaign and this is blackout. Everyone was very skeptical about it. Even me, like, I was thinking, like, oh, man, oh, for sure. Do do? Um, but I figured, you know, it's it's Call of Duty. They got the gameplay. They've got the they've got the money. They've got the manpower. <laughs> They're gonna bring out something decent. I didn't think it was gonna be this like have this type of hype behind it though. Yeah, and I didn't uh, when I had the game. I didn't play any of the zombies, so I couldn't I couldn't tell. You can tell my performance here, odd, awful. <laughs> um, but and even I yeah, my first game I I got eighth I think because I didn't yeah. see anyone for the whole time. <laughs> uh, yeah, I did. I remember I played the beta. I, I I'm definitely gonna pick up the game. I just don't know when. I have to figure gotcha. out. I gotta like have to decide like what game I'm not gonna get in order to move in black. I don't know. Sure, it's, there's I, too many games coming. This out. is a game you could definitely get for thirty dollars on Black Friday. Yeah, I feels like I might, I might have to wait. What surprised um, me also is I actually enjoyed. I probably played more of the regular multiplayer, just regular team deathmatch. Uh, I'm not good by any stretch of the imagination, <laughs> but it was a lot of fun. It it was definitely yeah. something I could get into, and it, it was almost nostalgic because I remember playing Call of Duty Four, modern you know, modern warfare, back in the day, and actually playing the multiplayer and getting into it a little bit. And so this was an interesting return to form with that. Uh, it's still fast. It's still fun. I love the mode where you have to pick up the dog tags. I liked all the maps I played. It's Oh, yeah. It, kill confirmed. Kill confirmed, yeah. I love how people still don't goddamn know to pick up the fucking dog tags. Uh, well, I, I think a lot of people... So one thing I really liked about Kill Confirmed that always kind of made me prefer it over most other modes mm -hmm. is... With kill confirmed, since you have to pick up those tags in order for the kill to count for you or to get the points. Oh, people can't camp. They got to run out. People can't camp, and there's a lot less snipers because, you know, how are you going to pick up the, the damn tag? Yeah, I, I love that so mode. I always, I always loved kill confirmed for that reason. Um, did you ever, did you play Black Ops 3? I don't remember. Uh, no, no. I, I started playing them again with Infinite Warfare and then World War One. Okay. So Black Ops 3, um, they kind of try to go for like the Overwatch kind of thing because that's right when Overwatch was coming out and, you know, being like a badass game. So they really try to make it more like, hey, you choose a class and this is your person. And, but, oh, you know, oh, you, yeah, could have, I saw that. You, you could have the same class in each, you know, each game. So you could have like, you know, three of the people with bow and arrow. And in this game, they kind of went more full Overwatch then the last one where now like you you can't have the same class i guess i mean maybe you can uh, in the beta you couldn't so i i couldn't pick my bow and arrow person if someone else had already picked it um That's but then you also is. had like you also had like your custom character that you could choose instead so i like that they went more towards that angle because i think it it creates a more tactical type of game Instead of ever being everybody being some dude with spikes that just annihilates you left and right, or with the freaking grenade launcher, which was always a pain in the ass. Oh, because grenade launchers are awesome. Yeah, <laughs> I still. I mean, the one complaint I've had about Call of Duty for ten years has been I don't understand why players who are already winning get rewarded with things that kill a bunch more people. Oh yeah, because you're yeah. already winning, so like it just doesn't make any goddamn sense well they they did change that up a little bit did they though? In different versions kind of so they <laughs> they created score streaks instead of just kill streak like you still got kill streaks but then there was also score streaks so if you're doing other things to gain points like you know like dropping like sensors to detect enemies sure. or UAV or something like that then you're gaining points to put towards something um i don't think infinite warfare had that i'm trying to remember well, I didn't play the multiplayer games, in that. All these games just like blend together now. Exactly. <laughs> but I remember that getting better because I'm the type of person that runs and guns, so I'm going to die. I'm not going to live very long in these matches. So, mm -hmm. or if I run out of ammo, like I don't have the the perk to pick up, you know, guns and stuff, so I just I just die. It's easier. <laughs> well, in this in this one you can pick up the guns. Yeah, I mean, you could, you could like, pick it, but there was this other one. There was a perk that, like, allowed you to just pick up ammo for your gun. 
Oh. So, like, if I had my gun and that's the one I wanted to choose, like, once I ran out of ammo, it's kind of fucked. So I just would die. Gotcha. Yeah. But I, I'm, I'm happy to see that it's being received well. Um, you know, I don't ever want a game to do bad. <laughs> but yeah. it, everyone was really kind of, like, very skeptical and, you know, of what Call of Duty was you know how successful well, it was going to be it, it with, felt with like no campaign it felt like oh there's there's no campaign it's just multiplayer but we kind of underplayed how big zombies has become and how big a battle royale component is and how just fun the multiplayer has been for 15 years and having yeah. those three components is kind of enough for a lot of people yeah and that's true it, it was mean, definitely fun most of the most of the people that get the game get it for multiplayer i mean it's definitely you know true <laughs> it's definitely true yeah you're not yeah. wrong i got i don't a, think i've i don't think i finished a, a call of duty campaign since modern warfare 2 i think oh uh, i played that yeah i'll uh, do the infinite warfare one is like a mass effect game yeah it's really good Really, really good. Uh, like, it ends in space. You're, like, on Mars doing this final... It's... I would buy that game again to play that campaign. It was really good. That was one of the things, too. As I was playing the multiplayer, I'm sitting there thinking, oh, single-player campaign with these mechanics. Like, it'd be so good. Yeah. It, it feels yeah. so good. But it shan't be. Perhaps next maybe, year. Maybe next year. <laughs> That's kind of the funny thing with games like Call of Duty. Where it's like, if you don't get something that you wanted <laughs> this year, this iteration, you're like, well, there's, yeah. there's always next year. <laughs> the next one's for me. Maybe they'll go back we'll to World War next... One. Maybe they'll go to yeah. the future. I don't know. Yeah. It's, it's impossible to know. Uh, I think in this match, I ran into some zombies on the, on the map, which is spooky as hell. I do not like running into these zombies. I thought oh, it was yeah. a person. They can, they can drop, like weapons and items from the zombie modes which is pretty cool yeah well so like i think i saw i saw ninja playing and he had like uh he had like the ray gun which was just shooting like gotcha crazy rings that, at people that's pretty, pretty awesome. cool but it was I, I saw someone in the distance i think it's coming up I, but it doesn't matter i saw someone in the distance and i started shooting at them I'm like man they're not dying and they're not moving what are they doing and then i saw another one. Oh no those are zombies <laughs> Oh no! Uh -oh. <laughs> oh god! And now I'm shooting all these zombies in this room, and like I gotta get out of here. They're just everywhere, and I really like the idea. But I wish there were more zombies. I love the idea of with a hundred players in this world, and there's a thousand zombies, and you kind of have to just navigate both of them. Yeah, I I, yeah. I really like that, but it it isn't necessarily going for that. But it could. It could have like a special event. You know, Halloween Day, it's zombies everywhere. That sounds like a fun game mode. Yeah, that's for me. I mean, they could always kind of change it up or add events and stuff like that. That's what's nice about these kind of live games, like Battle Royale, kind of like how Fortnite does their seasons. And exactly. Like I love stuff. It like just that. gives them. It gives them such an opportunity to kind of do different things. Yeah, that's. It's fun. I like seasonal events are a lot of fun, and I think some games could really learn and do stuff like that. But they don't. What game were Logan and I were making fun of uh, Sea of Thieves? Where, oh yeah, like yeah. There, why isn't there a, a Sea of Thieves Halloween going on with those skeletons everywhere? Like there are skeletons yeah, everywhere, game, but like that game quickly like fell off the face of the earth. You could make they all pumpkin heads. It just make it a fun goddamn Halloween event and get people in the game. What was the other idea? Oh, uh, like instead of the Kraken, it's a uh, it's like a jack o' lantern head crack it or, or, <laughs> yeah. or anything like there's just anything at all instead of nothing yeah maybe try that oh microsoft <sighs> so you need a hit <laughs> yeah they need something so i got into the the project stream thing oh yes from yes. the googles and i the played googles. um so i think it was a wednesday i got into it uh, this Wednesday, played about six hours of Assassin's Creed Odyssey, which is long enough to have the title screen flash on the 
for you. Oh, yeah. And yeah. then I I went on the boat. Like I, I just got the boat. I explored a couple islands and am still following the story very pretty early. Uh, but and I know you know both of us loved Origins. Yeah, I did. I think Love this it. game makes enough changes to feel distinct, uh, especially with the boat from Origins. It does refinements to stuff like the uh, the skill tree, to the combat, to the parry system. There's enough changes in there to make it feel like a a new quote unquote Assassin's Creed, and it's familiar enough to be like, oh, that's that's what I got last year, and it was great. Yeah, give me more of that. Yeah. And I've, I've really enjoyed it. I do think it's not as crazy awesome as everyone said, but then again, it's still really good, so... Yeah, I feel like the, the people that are saying it's awesome are the people that tried Origin, yeah, but, but didn't, didn't give it much of a chance. Exactly. That's why I agree completely, because I, I, hear, oh, I couldn't get into Egypt. I'm like, well, all right. But a lot of the stuff that this game does was already done in Origins. Yeah. So it, it's just it's just minor differences, and it's really good. And I love the islands. I love having a little boat. I think the camera on the boat's terrible. I've always thought that it, <laughs> it's just a shitty camera. Why isn't it on the front of the boat so I can fucking see? I don't know. Anyway, this is where I fight the zombies. I really enjoy the game. It is. I I do kind of not like a lot of the silly accents they're doing, which I they're just bad accents. Yeah. It feels like to me. I am not in love with Cassandra. Uh, she just you don't like her, or you do? I don't really. Okay. I mean, I don't dislike her. This is where I fight the zombies. Uh, it it's just <laughs> she's fine. I like her story a lot. Uh, the story itself is way like the story in Origins was excellent, but it kind of was a slow build. Uh, yeah, a lot of the end game stuff was where it's like, oh, this is really freaking good, and it, it took a while to build to it. This kind of off the bat is giving you a lot more story bits and a lot of really interesting stuff, especially also with the future tie-ins. There could be some stuff going on there that I really, I really like as someone who's played some of these games. Um, but I also, because they you know they had the whole controversy with the. You can pay for more experience and, and all that. Oh, yeah. You can get, like, the XP boost, boost or whatever. Yeah. So, basically, uh, the starting island that you're on, uh, there was a point where... Like, this gun. This is exactly my point. I picked up this gun, and I had no idea if it was a shotgun or a machine gun. Like, I just didn't know. It was a shotgun. Yeah. God yeah. damn it. I hate that. Anyway. So, <laughs> there was a point where you're, like, level 2. And it says, oh, this mercenary is fighting you. He's level 5. You can't fight him yet. I'm like, okay, well, I guess I'll just do quests. And it seems yeah. like, and from what I've heard as well, there are many specific points where the game just puts a roadblock in front of you and says, you have to be level 13 to get to here and go do quests if you're not there. Yeah. And that's, like, that's fine. I don't necessarily disagree with that. But it is weird. Like so early on, I looked at that and thought, Okay, yeah, <laughs> I gotta have to do all these quests. Like, I did all the quests on the starting island, and I was not over-leveled. Really? No, at all. I was exactly where I should be. Uh, I don't... This is the problem I have with the combat, and it it's, it's weird because it's the start of the game. Oh, and remind me about the skills, because they changed it. Um, but the combat and how everything scales up with you, it never... So far, I like, oh, I'll go to this bandit camp. They're all level five because I'm level five. I go to the next bandit camp that's on the same map. They're all level six because I'm level six. It's like, but why, why isn't, why am I not better? Like, I don't, I never feel like I'm getting that much better than these people, especially when I'm trying to be stealthy and I'm just stabbing them. It, it's weird to, when I actually get into combat to be held back artificially, it feels like. I don't know. It's, it, and as I get further mm -hmm. in, because I'm not very far. It has well, it's like one of the. It's like an MMO that has the XP boost thing, like where you hit level ten and all of a sudden you don't level as quickly anymore. Something like well, that. Well, well, it's more like the enemies are just constantly the same level as you. So what's the point of even having levels if they're yeah. always going to be hard, you know, or whatever? Yeah, um, I think that's always weird. And I mean, it's it's not weird like in in, in a regular like RPG, but I think because it's so. 
it's so weird to have something like that in an open world. It just doesn't like level level gating in a way. At the beginning of the game, it feels it feels off. Yeah. Um, and there's also the like the skills you can get, which they changed how you do them. Like you hold down the trigger to and then press a face button to do the skills. And uh, the predator arrow from or- Origins, where you control the arrow, oh yeah, that is that thing. completely different. Like they basically got rid of all the different bow types you could have in Origins. And you still okay. can get them, but they don't do their special arrows at all. It's just all arrows, and now it's a skill. So the predator arrow is a skill that you like hold the left trigger and then press whatever button you assigned it to, and then if you hold R to fire, then you get to control it. Like, it's very convoluted in how you activate it. And I've, I've shot people in the head with it, but it was more or less an automatic thing and I couldn't control it very well. It was weird. It wasn't exactly how it was before, where it was that super awesome, super power Hawkeye thing. Yeah. yeah. Um, hmm. But I don't know. I, I do need to play more of it. More uh, interestingly, I guess, is the the streaming future of this game, because I... I yeah, yeah. What was your experience um, with this? So I, I have two different... Because I, I intentionally, today, was downloading... Red Dead, and uploading stuff on my computer just to back up, and I was playing the game just to see what would happen. And we'll we'll save that for in a minute, because without that, I, on my connection, it's pretty flawless. Uh, there's there it doesn't look as good. It looks if you've ever, which I know you have, but and most people probably have, watched E3 live press conferences and it's been streaming you'll see artifacting and it'll it won't be perfect but it's by and large pretty damn good that's what you get here there are moments where like uh you're coming out of a cave or something and all the colors change and it kind of has to refresh like the bit rate changed so quickly it didn't it has to catch up um and, and that's fine whatever and there'll be moments where you're staring out at the at the scenery and it it has kind of a blur uh, a lot of the time. Uh, Cutscenes are, are where it looks extremely good, but in normal gameplay, it does have a little bit of a blur. It's not that bad, and really, when you're running around, you can look at it and you can see it, but it's not a problem, I would, I would say. And the big issue that people will bring up is like the, uh, the latency. And okay. for maybe the first hour, it it was it was weird. Like it, there definitely is some lag or something going on. But you feel like it was more towards like the beginning of when you started playing, and then it moved out. Or I I see. Well, I'm not sure if it was. And this is what I wanted to ask Logan. If the game, because you know how Assassin's Creed games kind of have that weird weight when you're running around. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I wasn't sure if it was the game or if it was the streaming, because I think the game itself might just have that weird little lag to it. Um, but even regard, like either way, after an hour of playing, it's fine. Like I, it's basically unnoticeable. I'm fighting enemies and it's not a problem. I'm parrying attacks. I'm dodging into the bushes. I'm sweeping the camera around, and it's it's fighting other enemy ships and firing off arrows and doing all this stuff and it just without a hitch it is just not perfect but it is basically perfect for all intents and purposes like if you if you had no other way to play this game this is a completely viable way to play it and really not miss out on much of anything Uh, okay and that's really good especially when i looked at my uh internet connection thingy to see how much of my internet it was using. And it wasn't, it was using like 35 megabits or whatever, which is not. Is that kind of like, uh, maybe like Netflix, like if you're watching a video on Netflix or something. What do you mean? Do you feel like it's taking up the same amount of bandwidth or do you feel like it's more? I don't know. It's taking up more. I don't know. Um, here's some dark Souls footage. Uh, I don't know. (laughs) Comparatively, I will say it does look really good. Like when it's not doing any, graininess 
is really good. So it probably is akin to a 1080p stream, uh, if not more detailed. Uh, now, back to what I kind of said at the beginning when I was downloading and uploading and streaming the game. The <laughs> incredible thing to me, uh, because it didn't work as well, and there were, there were two things that happened that are notable to me. One was a little pop-up on the side that said, hey, your connection's a little spotty right now, uh, just as a warning, uh, whatever. You might disconnect or... Yeah, no, it, it wasn't that. It just said, hey, you might experience issues because your connection's not great right now, which was weird because I was actually... It was uh, after I fought a bunch of ships, and then I was in the menu just, like, equipping swords. <laughs> it's like, watch out. <laughs> The connection's bad. I'm like, I'm looking at swords. What do you get out of here? <laughs> um, oh, and also, I didn't even mention how it, it's just so quick to load into it. Just open the tab, hit play. Um, I'm in the game. I love that. So it, it had that little pop-up message, though, right? And the other thing was I was fighting all these boats because I was testing it when I just got my boat, and I'm in the open waters. Let's. That was the time. And and I'm shooting arrows. And I'm swinging the camera around. A lot of stuff's going on. And it did lose quality significantly. Oh, Sig wow. Significant quality. Now, as I said, I'm, st I'm, I'm downloading games. I'm uploading data. And I'm doing this. I am trying to fuck it up. Right? Yeah. So visually, it really looks like... If you've ever watched uh, a Twitch stream on low or a medium or, you know, uh -huh. like... Like on the 380 or something. Yeah, if you've ever looked at that, that's basically what it looked like. It was heavy artifacting. It didn't look good, right? But it was more or less momentary as it caught itself back up. And even though it looked... Also, as another aside in another aside in and of itself... It's so weird to play a game and have it look like you're watching a stream. That's yeah. You know cuz it, it you're like, "Oh, this is I've I've watched E3 footage that has pixelated like this before, but I'm playing this. That's odd." <laughs> like it's that, just it, I can imagine like I, I haven't even played it, but I can like picture it in my head and it feels weird. It, like, it's a to think about playing a game like that. It's kind of a cool sensation of like, "Oh, it's this is not supposed to be." But it is. But oh, weird. Uh, but okay. So it's it looks all washed out. It, it's messed up. But I still had full, accurate control of what I was doing. That was not delayed. It was degrading in real time and basically perfectly what I was seeing, but not what I was doing. Okay. So it might have looked like trash for a second. I was still fighting the bandits on my boat. That was still working as intended and it didn't hitch. I've had very few hitches at all of like stuttering frames or anything. Very few at all. Now I've it's wired connection. I've very good internet, very good, pretty good internet. <laughs> um, but to have it run so well and to have it be tested like I did and it's still like who cares if the quality dips down for 10 seconds if you're still fighting the enemy and you didn't miss a beat? Because that's the important part. If this had dipped down and all of a sudden I'm, I'm like seven feet over there and like, oh shit, how'd I get over that? That's a problem. But the fact that it was already ready for that, it, it shows me how like ready for prime time this is, I think. It was really good. So, it seems like we're a lot closer to getting something like that. I think people are afraid it's just going to replace everything that we have now. But sure. I think it's more like, in the meantime, this is probably just going to be a supplement to what we have. Exactly. And eventually, like, yeah, once, I mean, in, in, a, in a beautiful world where everybody has awesome internet, this could take off. Yeah, it feels but, like, uh, it's exactly what you said. It is the supplement. It is oh, I want to try this game. Maybe I don't want to download 50 gigs of this game. Let me pay $5 to do this for a week and see if I like the game. Or I'm not yeah. at my base PS4, 
but I own the game, so I'm gonna stream it to my PS4 over here and be able to play it. It's kind of the alternative. It's the it's the switch portable mode to the TV mode of this. Yeah. Like it's it's not the main I ideal way you'd want to do it necessarily. You could, a hundred percent could, but it's an it's an option and it's a perfectly viable option. And I I really can't wait to play more Origins. I meant to play more, but it's it's weird that that starting island of the game. It, it didn't. I'd sat there and I'd play like for an hour and a half, and I, and I'd stop. Like I wasn't super into it. Uh, but now that I just got the boat, maybe that'll it'll open up more. It felt like Origins. <laughs> I've got a boat now. <laughs> I know. I felt like Origins opened up quicker and just let you go loose. Like here's a camel, go. And I liked that more. And this has a, a bit of a slower start. Here's your starting island. Here's this dumbass guy that's your friend who I really hate. Um, <laughs> and then you meet a new guy as you leave. And I'm sort of like, yeah, new guy is cool. Get rid of old guy. Get rid I, of old guy. <laughs> I don't like him at all. He's stupid. Uh, if only all companions were Zeke from Infamous. <laughs> uh, sure. I don't know if that would fit this game, but no, sure. it wouldn't. <laughs> uh, he's just on the boat making jokes. Uh, no, but we'll see. I, I know it's like a sixty-hour game or something. So we'll uh, I mean, yeah, depending we'll on what see. you're doing, it, it could be probably longer. I want to play more. I want to play a little bit more before Red Dead, and I want to after Red Dead because that'll obviously I'll play that instead for a while. When I come back to uh, or Odyssey, I'm gonna buy that experience point thing. To see the the difference, yeah. So well, I mean, I, I think for people that play a lot of games, you know, like me, you, Logan, people that Fred that want to get to the next game, you know, I think that's totally fine to buy something like that and and use it. I mean, if it's if it's more about like trying to get through a game quicker and being able to consume the content quicker, I don't think it's a bad thing. I'm I mean, fine with that. Yeah. For for games like these nowadays, like The Witcher and stuff like that, I, I think there are games that should be priced higher that can't be priced higher because there's going to be backlash. And this is kind of their way of like making that extra money, dressing it up as something else so that they don't get backlash. Sure. Even though they get some backlash, but most people are kind of like defending the experience. Boost. Yeah. Well, I don't want to defend it necessarily. And that's why I wanted to play. I want to try and play like 20 hours without it just to see, like, is it, does it reach a point, at, you know, where, oh, I, I, this is annoying. I don't want to be doing this. It feels like I'm being held back by yeah. not having a boost. That's what I want to see. Um, and then I want to get the boost and be like, oh, wow, wait, maybe I'm way far ahead in level and it's, it's too fast. Like, that's what I want to know. I kind of want to get both sides a little bit and to kind of make a decision because you're right. And I do think it is just player choice, whatever. But there is a very... Uh, Jim Sterling did a very good video about this today, I think. Uh, but it is a very devious little thing. And, it, and it's kind of... It's stupid to say, like, oh, well, it didn't work on me. I didn't buy it. I didn't feel like buying it. Like, well, good. You don't have a gambling problem then. Like, what the fuck? Like, I don't buy loot boxes. Good for you. What? This isn't about you then. This is about the person who has, like, problem and is yeah. just being forced into all these things. So... I want to see if it's nefarious. I want to actually give it the chance. And if there, if it does seem like, hey, they designed parts of this to be stopping points where you're going to have to do side quests. And maybe people don't want to play those side quests. They just want to play the main game. And that means, yeah, I guess I'll buy the thing. So I level up quicker so I don't have to do this. Is that is that evil? Or like, you know, I, I want to yeah. see. <laughs> it's a very interesting topic. It's definitely a a loot box conversation of the year or whatever. Yeah. I mean, I want to eventually play Odyssey. I think it's a game that's going to have to wait till probably early next year at some time, because yeah. then there's also like so many other games coming out next year. Oh, Although, Jan it, January like 20th is when hell starts. Well, like kingdom hearts three is a game that I'm definitely going to get and play. Good. No. Um, and then there's and then February is really the month where like what is it Anthem comes out and it's an no I think Anthem is March 
Or no, thought, Anthem is I February. Delayed, yeah, because I remember, is, I think that's one of the reasons why they delayed uh, Days, Days Gone, Gone yeah. because of that. No, March is... Uh, is just, what, two months later? So it's in April, so it's not really... There's just so many things. I think what's nice about about waiting early next year for Odyssey is um, that's when I pretty much played Origins, and I feel like I had a lot of time to play it, and I really yeah. enjoyed it. I remember I played a lot of Origins, like, December 15th through january 15th yeah <laughs> like well, that we're gonna time... have smash this year though oh yeah that's true but yeah, that's something you can kind of play for an hour and it'll oh, yeah. be there it won't take a hundred hours to no to beat well well we'll see who knows yeah maybe oh i just thought of a really cool thing for smash if you could unlock eight bit costumes for everyone or what about uh, like uh, N64 polygon costumes for everyone. That'd be fun. <laughs> I do not want to look at any more N64 polygons. Oh, I love N64 <laughs> polygons. It's hideous. And and Cloud looks like the PS1 Cloud. <laughs> I love it. Uh, with the Popeye arms. Oh, my God. How did they think that looked okay? Like, come on. I don't know. You can't justify that. It just looks stupid as hell. Oh, my God. Like, we got some smooth edges. One of the <laughs> on flat surface of the polygons. Yeah, <laughs> it looks like uh, it looks like in a cartoon with a when a snake swallows something and you can still yeah. see it. That's what his arms they look, look like, like. They look like paper craft. It is paper, craft. Exactly. but not as good. <laughs> no, it's shitty paper craft. That's pretty good. I never thought of a paper craft. That's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, but I I have to finish Origin. I think they get rid of the access in January, so I have to beat it before yeah. then. Yeah, you have plenty of time. Which is weird too. What are they gonna do? Like, if I finish the game or not? Where does my save file go? I think it goes straight to the garbage. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's well, like, it's linked to what? Your it's linked to your email. It's linked to my uh, Ubisoft account. Oh, okay. I have to sign oh, into UPlay to play it. So. Maybe if you get it on PC, it might transfer. I don't know. I mean, that's a that's a question I haven't seen anyone asking or any answers to. It's... Yeah. But yeah, I just plan on beating it. I just want to do the story. That's the one reason too why I'll finish or finish quote unquote Red Dead. And whenever I go back to Odyssey, I'll buy that boost just so I can plow through to the end. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Let's get through it. And they give you with this project, Steam, they give you enough credits for free just to buy it so oh really that's cool yeah they give you ten dollars worth of garbage so i could either make a unicorn <laughs> pony or i could buy this thing so i'm gonna buy this thing instead yeah i would i think that's what i would yeah i don't need some stupid fucking pony i never ride the horses anyway i just always run around i think i rode the horses a little bit oh and, or, and uh origins was different because it was like a large landmass. this is a oh, lot yeah. of water you kind of have to yeah you kind of have to and origins or else you can be running through the desert yeah no one wants that i really do like the desert and i kind of miss it <laughs> there's but too I, much life around here we need more desert <laughs> i mean i like the water but when i'm on land it's just oh this is a plane like there's just planes here yeah oh well whatever it's just fake desert it's, it's just like if <laughs> desert had a hat on yeah fucking planes <laughs> <laughs> Desert needs a haircut. <laughs> Desert's <laughs> getting hairy over here. Uh, it, oh, there was this is really cool. I had there's a bunch of whales that'll just jump up out of the water. I love shit like that. Um, can you be a whale hunter? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. What but is it, I got a, a whale poacher. I got some headshots on these sharks. <laughs> there were shark like oh, there's a chest underneath the water, and there were two sharks in the water. And I'm just aiming down. <laughs> Headshot the shark, it kills it. Were like, there that's... sharks in Origins? I don't remember. I, I remember don't there remember being sharks. alligators. There were alligators a lot of for alligators. sure, yeah. yeah. There's a lot of wolves in this game. It's annoying. Ah. You can't go anywhere without... I hate wolves. I'm trying to remember what game I played up. where wolves would just fucking attack you. But the stealth is still excellent. I, I really like what they yeah. did with the stealth. And you should play Metal Gear Solid Five. Love of God. Oh, shit. The best open world stealth game. I'm not, I might just I will. play that again. I will eventually. I still have to finish Persona 5. I still have to finish The Messenger. <sighs> but Messenger I just... 12 I, hours. It's... No, I, I really... I got... I finally got to a point with Messenger where I'm like, I can see, like, how to beat it, but I really want to get all the coins, the green 
coins. Yeah, I did that. Or whatever. Yeah. But um, Persona 5 is so close to being done. And a part of me doesn't want to finish it. Finish it. Because the anime, the, an- the anime that they have for it, same thing. It ends like at a certain point. It doesn't finish the story. It what? doesn't like spoil what the story. Like, because it's following the same story from the game. So they just like ended it. Hold it. So they're not finishing it? I don't think they're going to finish it. I haven't heard. What? Yeah. This is very upsetting. It's weird, but I love... I, I don't... Like, the anime's not that great because, like, if you haven't played through most of the game, it's it's not going to make sense. But I like it because it's like a refresh. And it, oh. and it, okay. it gives your, your actual, like, protagonist a voice and, like... Like, depending on how you play the game, when you see the anime version, you're kind of like, either like, man, that guy is either cooler than my character or he's, he's a, a lot doofus. like it. He's a lot like my character. Like, seeing the way he interacts with people in the game, I see I'm like, okay, that's a lot like the dialogue that I chose in a way. Okay. But I, that's one thing I always hate about games like that. That was like, uh, where there's something, like if someone's in an argument and you know, like, well my character should step in, stand up, and say something. And it doesn't give you the option to. Mm. I hate that shit. Especially when you're a silent protagonist in that game. Yeah. Yeah, that's my yeah. least favorite part of that game. Yeah. Yeah. But anyways, I've been playing LEGO DC Super Villains. That's right. Lego. And uh, it's, it's fun. It's a good LEGO game. It's not a great LEGO game. Huh. I would say, so, I, I'm, I'm doing a review on it, so I'm not going to, like, give too many spoilers on Spoiler. my final thoughts about it. Uh, I just got to end game. I've probably spent maybe close to 10 hours with the game, and I'm at end game. There's a main plot of basically, like, Justice League is gone. There's a Justice Syndicate that's come in um, to kind of pick up where the Justice League left off. But there's something not right with them. And so... And you kind of have suspicions about their intentions. So you so you play as, like, Joker and Lex and Harley Quinn and all these people, and you start rounding up other villains to kind of help you. Like, hey, we got to take these guys down. Whether they're like the Justice League or not, like, we can't let them beat us. Um, huh. You have a custom character. They just call him the Rookie throughout, like, the game, which is fine. Fine. And... When you first get him, you can customize, like, one ability. And as you go through the game, you're gaining other abilities. But these abilities aren't, like... The way they work is basically they have a purpose in the game, like, on how to solve puzzles. Like, Batman can go into detective mode and get past, um, like... What is it? Like, uh, the sensors. Like, light sensors so that he can sneak in and hit the keypad you gain one of those powers and you can choose to either use it or trade it out for something else that'll help you solve a different puzzle. Hmm. Um, The cool thing is you can customize it. So you like I made Kakashi from, from Naruto. Yeah, I saw that. So, so instead of having eye beams come out like Superman, I changed those to come out from his hands and I changed them into electricity. All right. So that's one of the cool things you can do. Um, when I first started him, he didn't have many options for weapons. Like, he had a fish you can hit people with. A fish. So like, okay, so yeah. So I was like, I'm not doing the fish. So what, later on, I unlocked the sword, so I got a cool sword out of it. A fish. Um, I, I think I was expecting a different type of, like, customization. Maybe, like... Like a I salmon? <laughs> well, yeah. No, I'm not the, just a fish. I mean, in general. <laughs> like, I think I was thinking more like... Uh, like, I can customize everything about this guy, but it's not really that way. Like, you unlock a lot of costumes and that type of customization, but you don't unlock a whole lot of different, like, abilities and powers and stuff like I thought you could, but at the same time, like, I huh. get why they're not doing it, because you have to be able to use your character in missions, and if he doesn't have any of these abilities that are useful to solve the puzzles, like, you're not going to freaking use them. Yeah, you get kind of so, stuck or whatever. So yeah. So I mean, the custom, the the personal custom villain part was like the backseat. He took a backseat to the game because the best part about the Lego games is usually the villains, like Mark Hamill playing Joker. Um, 
they they're awesome they're funny like the story was was i thought was good and it was entertaining i didn't get bored i enjoyed meeting like villains that i had no idea who they were you kind of get a sense of what comic book they're from like a lot of wonder woman and and aquaman villains and i kind of like getting to know them and seeing like how weird and dumb they are um you do get to play as justice league a little bit later on and they kind of have their own side story that you get to go through i the the main campaign's probably like 10 hours or less um going through post game post game is kind of the same as every lego game which is just like there's a ton of challenges to do and and races and you get to collect more coins and you get to go back through the levels and and you know get get the bar filled up because you collected so many Lego pieces. You found mini kits. Like, all that stuff is the same. So nothing really new. Which was the only... Which to me was maybe a d- disappointment. Hmm. And there's still some mechanics in the game that I thought didn't work as well as they should by now. Or they felt kind of janky in a way. So it feels a bit... Not old, but just like I've been here before. It feels, yeah, it feels very samey. I mean, it, it's, which the Lego games I, I think are always fun. They're kind of just like comfort food. Yeah. Like this game is not doing anything to like blow me away, which is, it's a Lego game. I get it. It's <laughs> mainly for kids. It's mainly like something easy to play. But so like, I think to me, like, I, I think once I get my final like review down, I'm probably going to end around like, a seven maybe seven and a half okay. however we do our ratings that's where i'm sitting at it's still a good game like any lego game that comes out i'm always interested in even if it's like from a franchise i don't give a shit about uh, we bought all the lego dimension like sets <laughs> it's one of my only platinums <laughs> wow so like so we definitely enjoy those games like at my house i play through most of it with my wife and she really enjoys doing like all the post game stuff so that's something that that we're doing together cool. and and um, so that part's really, really been fun. And it's got the drop, drop in, drop out co-op that you can do. Um, trying to think if there's anything else in it. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's your run-of-the-mill Lego game. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. It was, it was a nice little break from, like, the challenging messenger that I've been playing and the oh, time sure. gobbling sure. Persona 5 that I'm, like, in love with. But I need to get all these games out of the way before Red Dead comes. Yeah, that's uh, it's the big guy. Hopefully, I mean that'll be the show next week. Is Red Dead? Kind of. Uh, I mean, kind of. You're because it'll just come out what that Friday. Yeah, it'll just it'll come out Friday. Friday. Yeah, yeah. But I'm playing it. They had. Uh, I was waiting. So there's a a site I've used for years called Green Man Gaming. And oh yeah, it's uh, it was mainly like a PC only download site, and I I love this site. They have great deals. It's not a shady CD key website at all. G two uh, G two A or whatever. Yeah, whatever the fuck that I don't trust that at all. Um, and I have <laughs> used CDKeys.net or whatever the hell it is. It, it's feels icky, but I have used it. And uh, but this is like on the up and up, and I like the website. And they recently, maybe a year ago, started selling PS4 games and download codes and stuff. And the huh. the big thing, as you probably know, when you buy something on PSN, it charges you tax. Yeah. And I, am, as a true American, hate taxes. So, I hate taxes. Yeah. <laughs> even though I get money back, whatever, doesn't matter. Still don't like it. Uh, but on Green Man Gaming, it, they're like in Europe. If I buy a PS4 game there, I don't get charged taxes. And I was waiting, because they sometimes have sales. Oh, here's 5% off our PS4 game pre-orders. And that happened today. So I get the email, and I just happen to be home. I'm off today, right? Just happen to be home. See the email. 7% off. I don't know why 7. <laughs> but 7% off all PS4 uh, games, like all of them doesn't matter and then in the fine print it says excludes red dead and other something right 
and I'm like, yeah. okay, they don't want it to be Red Dead. But I know this company. I have been a fan of them for six years, it feels like. It's been a long time. I remember buying the Tomb Raider reboot from them. It's been a while. I know they've had trouble with codes in the past. And, oh, oops, you were able to do this when you weren't able to. So I go and buy the Red Dead. And I put in the code. And it gives me 7% off anyway. And I just walk out there <laughs> with my code. <laughs> Take that, <laughs> losers. So $55, it's a pretty good deal. Since there's no taxes on that. Yeah, that's not bad. Not bad at all. It doesn't, like, it doesn't matter that it's a code from a different country. On, no, like, it's, uh, they're selling American codes. Oh, shit. Yeah. Mm. It's mm. a good deal. So that's why I was preloading that. Which <laughs> You start the preload on that. And even with my internet, four hour, or five hours, it was like four <sighs> or five hours remaining. Like, Jesus Christ. Yeah, I heard it's, it's going to be a huge download file. It's a, which is fine. I have an external hard drive. So yeah, no, it, it's... It's a big file that now I didn't even let it finish. I was like, you got to just turn off PS4. Go away. You got... I'll give you another hour and a half some other night of the week, you hog. Ridiculous. Uh, but uh, I don't know. Was there, a st was there a going anywhere with that story? I don't remember. I don't remember. I think we're just excited for Red Dead. I think we are just excited for Red Dead. Yeah. It's coming. It was a thing. I was trying... What did I... S Hmm. Now I'm having a stroke. What what did I do this week? There was something. Something was there in the week. Man. I don't know. It's not that it's not that happened. I don't know. Uh, I had I had a good week. Call your senators. Week went by fast. Got to see the Lakers play. That's good. I guess. LeBron James made his debut. They lost, but it was expected. I was expected. The Blazers haven't lost an opening night game at home for 16 straight years, I think, is what is their record or eight the past eight years. And they've like, I think they're like, they have a really good record against the Lakers and Lakers are still new. still getting to know each other. Blazers kind of have played together for a couple of years already. So they're pretty familiar with each other. But man, the first like two minutes of that game were insane. <laughs> Like, the whole game was, was good and entertaining, but the first two minutes was, like, back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back dunks. Like, LeBron dunked, then the other team dunked, then LeBron dunked again, and it was just kind of crazy. It was hype. Well, good. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, got a lot of projects that I'm working on. I'm excited oh. for the, the Zelda stream that we're going to be doing. Yes. Very excited. Starting sometime in the future. Sometime. <laughs> November then, uh, 2nd at 8 Pacific. 8 specific. 8 specific time. He ate Pacific. I ate, I ate all the specifics. <laughs> 8 terrific. <laughs> exactly. We could always okay. talk about Degrassi. <laughs> oh, God. I the fell off the wagon. I haven't... Well, I got on the wagon, I guess. Fell yeah. off the wagon is when I get back to watching it, where I fell onto the wagon because uh -huh. I haven't watched it in a while because I've been playing all these awesome freaking but games. But shouldn't you be getting further and further into it? I should be, but I just haven't had the energy to watch anything. All I've, been, I've just been playing what I can. Uh -huh. And the only other thing I've been doing is um, watching, like, the completionist and super beard bros because that shit is so hilarious you gotta watch some of those <sighs> even if like... you don't watch even if you don't watch them play just listen to the to their their banter. bits and their banter uh. like they just did the the super metroid and link to the past randomizer and it's like i think they're like maybe i remember how many episodes in they are like 20 minute episodes and they're just they're just funny man the shit they talk just so good Sounds like a lot of work. It's it's okay work. <laughs> it's okay like a lot work. of work for it's, me. Yeah, I mean, I just have it in the background while I'm doing other. Sure, no, I I get that. I do yeah. those podcasts all the time. It's yeah. I can't. And a game like Assassin's Creed is perfect for having something on in the background. If you need a good podcast to listen to, I just started listening to the Not So Common podcast with Pat Contry, and he just had Colin on there. Um. He just had 
Alex from Super Beard Bros. I think okay. he had I think he had Alex like the day like the week after Colin hmm. Moriarty. And then um he also interviewed uh the completionist not too long. And he's got, got like the gaming historian on there. Like there's a lot of people that he's interviewed that are pretty interesting to listen to. He's a weird guy. He's uh the NES punk, I think is his name. Like his his thing that he did. He's a weird guy. He's a like when you first listen to him and then you see like a picture of him, you're kinda like, man, kinda looks like a weird guy, but fuck. <laughs> Him and Colin had a great conversation. I got super into it. Like, aside from, like, okay. the kind of funny stuff that they talked about, they got into, like, political stuff, and I was like, holy shit, this is good. All right, well, link link it. Link it. Link it, man. Link it. Why you link it? Because I, I will listen to that for sure. All right, should we end the show? We will end the show. <laughs> I'm, I just oh, start watching myself play Dark Souls, and it's just fond memories. Of the Dark Souls. All right, that's <laughs> been Ben's OP Game Show, sometimes with Joel. Recorded sometimes. live, 6 p.m. Pacific time, twitch.tv slash the Game Fanatics, every Friday little day. Diddly I diddly. I don't, I don't know what that means, but yeah, it is very <laughs> Flandersy. <laughs> yeah. He diddle diddle. I have a diddle diddle. I don't know what I'm I'm not a big fan of, of uh, Simpsons. Oh. It's fine. I only like the older ones. I, re- I really... It, that show could disappear from existence, and I'd be like, whatever, I don't really care. <laughs> it has no effect on my life, except for a few couple uh, fun video games that I play. Such a good such a good show. It's hey. on... It's been, what, like 20 years? Oh, yeah. No, it's been like 28 years. Oh, Jesus. The show's older than me by like a couple of months. 30, 30 year old ass show. I know. But it is good. I don't I'm not watching TV or anything that is on a TV. This is such a good part of the gameplay with his bodies flying down the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? Uh, Just uh, watching your gameplay like gives me like like anxiety from playing Dark Souls 3. Oh yeah. No, it, this is, this is tough because this was the beta thing they did, and yeah, so I don't have anything I'd actually have or use, and you know, it's always tough to do that. I mean, this is one of the more memorable traps earlier in the game where there's just a pile of these little pygmy dudes <laughs> everywhere. <laughs>